Linux is a multi-user operating system. What multi-user means is that at one, at any given instance on your operating system, there can be more than one user which can exist and can log in and work. Now when we have such a uh, facility available, it becomes important for us to make sure that the privacy of these users are maintained. For example, if Bob creates some files and he does not want that Dan should be able to see it, he should have some mechanism and that's something the Linux operating system is able to manage. So in this session, I will be helping you understand the user management system and this is a following session from a previous video where I have uh, explained how to install and one of the last section in installation was about creating a user so there I just use defaults but here I'll give you some more details so the concept here that I'm going to explain is users and groups so for example you have an organization and in your organization you have different departments and each department has some employee okay so for example we have a department called HR I'll take a small example and I'll take a another example of IT and finance okay now suppose that in each of these departments there are some people for example Bob is from the HR Dan is from IT and Lee is from finance now these departments might have more users okay more employees so for example I HR can have one more employee here uh, IT can have one more employee here and fin can have another employee here and these are groups so the way departments are designed or the way departments are formed similarly on your operating system we can form something called groups so group 1, group 2, group 3 maybe G1, G2, G3 or it could be HR, IT, Finance and when we create users in Linux we can assign these groups to them so let's first try to see how to create a user how to assign those users to groups and how do we work with the files created by these users and these groups so uh, I hope you already have your uh, Linux box ready after the installation so to run the user management commands I have to log in as root here because only root can perform these activities so the first step is let me create some users to create a user the command is pretty simple user add and username let me create Bob Dan Lee let me create a few more user Sarah Jim Priya okay. so when I create these users their home will be created by default and that goes and sits in slash home so if I go to slash home I can see there's homes created here okay say Bob, Dan, Lee, Jim, Ria, Sara all these users have their homes now so the command is simple to create a user user add and the username now what I want to show you is currently when these users are created okay uh, they are not aligned to any groups right now so how to find that I'll just say ID and username say ID Bob so Bob is assigned to a UID called uh, uh, 1001 and a group ID 1001 and the group is same here Bob so they're not aligned to any of the groups right now okay so you can see the groups there's one one group called Bob so similarly I can check the groups of others if I go and see Lee I can see Lee is assigned to the group Lee 
if I have to create some groups the command is again simple okay so the command is group add group add say HR group add IT and group add finance so once I create these groups I have to assign these users to assign users to change a group of user I need to run some commands and it would be user mod so let's give Bob the HR okay so now when I say ID Bob Bob has a group called HR okay similarly I can put Sara in the same group so it would be user mod Sara hyphen G HR so now let me put Dan in IT group so user mod Dan hyphen G IT and let me put Lee as uh, let me put uh, Ria in IT so user mod Ria hyphen G IT and let me put Jim and Lee in finance so user mod Jim hyphen G finance and user mod Lee hyphen G finance so the three commands we learned here is user add group add and user mod so user mod is used to modify the user now if you have to create a user and at the same time you want to align it to a group you can do that as well so command is user add uh, username say for example I have one more user Tony and I want to align it to IT hyphen G IT so at the time of using uh, uh, creating the user itself I can give this command so let's see what is my group so ID Tony so Tony has group called ID let's try to understand few more theory behind these this is what I did I created some groups finance HR and IT and I have some users in these groups so when I create a file by any user in finance I want to make sure that those files should be readable by any user of finance so to do that maybe let me first log in as Bob I have not set any password so I can still log in from root so I'll go to Bob I'll touch a file so I can see it is owned by Bob and HR you can see this very clearly here so user is Bob and group is HR by the way if we do a ls on any of the file say ls hyphen l in ls hyphen l you will see who is the owner and to which group the file belongs and you can also see some permissions this I'll be taking care in the uh, next section here I'm just showing how uh, the how does it how the how does groups and user impacts okay so here HR is its primary group so one user can belong to multiple groups actually so when we do that we just have to give uh, uh, you know the command and we can simply uh, modify the user for example let me create another group say dance group so this is the activity group okay uh, sorry uh, group add dance some activity group is there in office I 
I'm logged in as Bob, so I have to exit login as root group add tens. Now user Lee can also be part of group dance but his initial group is <coughs> his primary group is let us let us go to Lee and so Lee belongs to finance finance is his primary group when I say ID Lee it says finance but I also want to give him the group as dance so I need to do is user mod hyphen capital G now if you give small g it changes the primary group but when you give capital G it changes the secondary group okay so let's say user mod Lee and add him to the dance group as well as I can pick different people from different groups for example I can use Sara as well in this example Sara is from HR so user mod Sara hyphen dance so now if I say ID Sara you can see that she is she, she belongs to HR as well as dance similarly when I say ID uh, Lee Lee belongs to finance as well as dance okay and when I say ID Tony I can see he belongs to only one group which is IT so these are some commands we learned today for working with the groups as well as users.